on-the-scene video coverage of TCT 2012 is supported by Prodexa. Dr. Block, respect and PC have been long awaited. Do we have a definitive answer from them? No. There you go. There's the short answer. Uh, it's really sort of too bad. Uh, the p-value for respect and PC, let me go back one step and say respect is the U.S. trial, PC is the somewhat smaller patient number European side of this. But interestingly, they sort of show the same thing and the p-values for both don't quite hit the mark of less than 0.05. That's the disappointment. And as you know, these are trials that tried to tell us whether or not transcatheter closure of the PFO in patients with cryptogenic stroke should or should not be done. The RESPECT trial took eight years to gather data, and we finally have it, and everyone was hoping this would be a layup smash killer, and unfortunately the p-value doesn't make it, but there are very interesting bits of information inside of this trial, and as you drill down into the information, it seems to me that what you can learn is extraordinarily important about how to strategize care for these patients. For example, if you look at the patients in the intention to treat analysis, the p-value is less is about 0.08. If you look at the as treated patients, now we have a p-value that's less than 0.05. Those are the patients that actually got the device and patients who were followed over time. And in fact, the follow-ups are continuing, so we will have even longer follow-up on these folks. So what we learn from this is that there is a definite improvement in patients who have PFO closures also, definite improvement in the subgroup who have large PFOs and who have atrial septal aneurysms. And those are really the most high-risk patients. So for me, if you ask me what do we learn, I think the answer is we learn a lot more about how to strategize for these patients. We learn that, in fact, there is benefit for some groups of patients, particularly those with ASAs and large PFOs. And we can't just simply dismiss PFO closure as being this crazy thing that interventional cardiologists want to do that has no value. It clearly does have value. And we'll just have to see how the impact of this trial affects what we do as clinicians.